Hey everybody, Embody Audio here, creators of Immersed Game Pack Final Fantasy XIV. We wanted to make a short video showcasing some of the in-game sound settings that you'll want to take a look at as you start to use Immersed Game Pack for the first time. And in particular, I'm going to focus on listening position. I've got my system configuration sound settings open, and you'll notice that I've got listening position set to 100 character. This means that all in-game sound effects in terms of depth and proximity are oriented around where my character is standing. So there are two sound effects that you should be able to hear right now. One is a hammer, which is coming from front and to the left. The other is a leather working tool, which you should hear back and to the right. As I move my character closer to the hammer, it's going to get louder and eventually you'll hear it directly in front. Now, when I rotate my camera, Okay, now the hammer sounds like it's coming from behind me, while the leatherworking tool should sound like it's coming from front and to the left. The hammer is still a lot louder than the leatherworking tool because my character is standing closer to the hammer. But as I walk closer to the leatherworking tool, the hammer will get quieter. And this becomes a lot louder. So the important thing to understand is that even though I have listening positions set to character, front versus rear imaging is still dictated by the direction that my camera is facing. If I rotate my character, nothing changes. So that's the important thing to understand. Imagine my character in this point is just a sort of a microphone on a stick. That's the idea. Now let's see what happens if I set listening position to zero. This basically means that anything that I can see is going to sound like it's coming from in front of me, just like my ears are attached to the perspective of my camera. For me, this makes it a lot more difficult to determine the direction of in-game sound effects because I'm going to play zoomed out most of the time. So if I'm seeing a bunch of boss mechanics on the screen, well, I'm going to hear all of those like they're sounding from in front of me, which I just I don't find to be super helpful. I would rather hear it oriented around my character. So that's why we recommend this particular setting for listening position. Of course, we do suggest that you experiment and find the mix that works best for you. We've had some people say that they prefer a listening position set to 70 or 80. The important thing is that it's set closer to character than to camera. That really is going to help you determine where sound effects are coming from. So I'm going to be quiet for a second and sort of give you a chance to listen to what happens as I change the setting. I'll move my camera around and hopefully this will help. So there it is. Uh, not a whole lot else to talk about today. You'll notice that I have background music muted. That's simply just for this example to make it easier to hear the two sound effects that I wanted to highlight. One thing I do want to draw your attention to though is that when you adjust listening position to character, self player effects do get much louder. So you'll see that I have mine adjusted down slightly to accommodate for that. But you'll want to play with the, uh, the mix and find again what works best for you. But otherwise, yeah, we encourage you to have fun with these settings. We hope this helps. Um, and we'll see you on the next video.